This program has been rated 15 and is not suitable for persons under that age. Warning, this show may affect those people who suffer with photosensitive epilepsy as it consists of some flashing images. I mean, they wouldn't mind. They're cold, got no heating, 
And my God, it's sub-zero temperatures out here. I mean, gosh, anyone would think I'm an Eskimo or something because I ain't got no means of feeling the cold, so they must reckon. Mighty reckon really bad. You know, you do everything you can, and yet here you are. No goddamn heat. No goddamn nuts to go up no damn hill. And you can hear them a mile away because they're so damn noisy. Not only are they noisy, they rattle. And my God, when they break, God damn it, they don't even know how to do that. There's another thing. I mean, only the other day, here I was, I was working my cahoots off, something crazy. I kind of done something different, ended up doing one thing, then doing another, then doing three other things after that. Hell, man, I thought I was going to move into the damn vehicle because I never got home. Yep, that was one of those strange old days. You know, you see this happen quite regularly. You know, you think, you think that had some kind of idea of what I'm going to be doing the next day. But no, it looked like that went at the door. Looks like they kind of forgot what to think I was going to do tomorrow. Well, they certainly found out what I'm doing tomorrow, but I'm doing it now today. And look what I got. Nothing but, nothing but a wreck. Damn useless old damn thing. Pieces of junk. You know, I wouldn't even see them on the local scrapyard. You know, them scrapyard would just send them away and say, I don't want that thing. Where am I going to put that heap of junk? And that's the way it seems to be these days. I mean, I'm dreading to think I'm going to be carrying on with tonight. I'm going to see how busy I'm going to get. I'm going to see how many people might happen to throw up. I don't know how many people might fall up and hurt their little selves. Especially with these things. Suspension, they don't even know what the damn thing is. What can I say? It's just unbelievable. Really is, I don't know. But I know one thing. One thing I know. I'm kind of looking forward to finishing it when I do. Because when I do, it's going to be different. It's going to be quiet, I hope. Well, it won't be quiet with this old beast, but there you go. I'm not going to say I'm going to moan too much about that, I declare. I'm going to still see what's going to happen out there. The day's still young. Man, I'm not looking forward to it now one bit. No doubt, man, one bit. Well, man, I sure survived this one at the moment. Still got no heating, though. Yep, that ain't surprising. Tell you, I had a funny one, though. I had the guy, this guy was selling me, I was looking at him, he was looking at me, I, you know, usual thing. That one of the places I got to serve. You know, I was swaying all over the place, like, you know, like he was like a suit, have some kind of dance. Next minute, as he's approaching toward my old vehicle, he decides, so Chuck, I go, oh my God, isn't that a pretty sight? Not really. I tell you, I was quite mighty, I was quite glad he decided not to take it in me. Really, I scratched you not taking this old vehicle. I'd hate to be going halfway there and he's throwing over everybody and everybody getting all upchucked all over themselves. I mean, I wouldn't think I'd like that very much. I'm sure they wouldn't be too kind mighty not to that type of thing anyway. I know I certainly wouldn't be. But anyways, that wasn't the end of the thing. I then had this old guy, this other guy, that's getting later on to my journey. I didn't mind. The journey was still going quite long and quite slow. Nothing new there with these damn things. And you know what? Uh, I had the audacity, I had the old cheek to go up my back passage and say, you know, not even go, try to get on the bus. I said, hey, cuz, where do you think you're going? Anyway, I said my thing, he said his thing, and he got it. I said, you know, you done me love my fire crap, you didn't decide to get off the damn thing. And thank God for that, he got out the goddamn thing. I'd hate to have another one fall asleep on that old vehicle. That one would be too bright for me. No, not tall enough, so. So anyways, I'm getting all the way. No CC, no uh, cameras on board, the damn thing. And then next minute, I'm going, I had to go slower and slower and slower. I thought, what the damn goddamn hell's going on here? Anyway, it gets to the point where you're thinking, oh my God. This damn thing ain't going nowhere. I can't go nowhere. I mean, even slots go faster than I'm allowed to go without getting them saying, you know, guy on the radio saying, hey, girls, hey, son, why are you going so slow? Hey, girls, hey, son, should I be saying I'm getting all back in front of that and all over this old place? Anyway, I said, son, I'm not glad I never heard that type of thing. 
And he said, son, I didn't want to hear that type of conversation. Why are you going so early? Why ain't you holding back when you should be? I said, holding back? I can't hold it up, get a load of that. If I hold back anymore, I'll be dying to fall asleep on no will. I wouldn't be too kind. I wouldn't be doing anybody any good. I wouldn't be doing them no kind of favors. Yeah, I damn thing it's a damn shock and shame, really. You know, I don't know why to give us so much damn time on this thing. I mean, I wouldn't mind if I'd been on wreck. I'm quite glad it's one of them things and not one of those new things. The new things, I'd been falling asleep deaf by that damn will. Because they go so fast. Well, this has to go so damn slow. It still can't be too slow because I still have to go and pack up somewhere and have to say, matter of fact, everybody thought about this guy hold back because I got to make my time. And then I look at me and get many evils, and I look at them and get many evils. And you know what? It kind of kills me when you look at that. Because here you are thinking, hey man, am I real doing this kind of thing? Goddamn things do my head in. You know, you can't get nowhere fast. The minute you try and get a bit of speed, lo and behold, you end up holding hold back. And when you hold back, you got everybody there looking at you, and you're looking at them, and they're looking really kind of mighty, mighty peed with the way you're driving. Oh, they get that kind of thing where they think you're doing it purposely, and y'all going to just stop there and just let them wait until they see some other vehicle get on, and then they won't jump off the old thing and take another bus. But I was quite glad you that the people decided to get on this old vehicle, and they weren't too bothered none. They weren't no fuss about this. They weren't no fuss about having to wait all them times I had to wait. My goddamn thing, I'd do it many times. I thought, my world is the end, the end of this type of stuff, because I tell you what, it is a funny old day. I still got one more to do. I'm dreading to think. This time, I have so much time coming up this way, I hate to think how much time we're going to go the other way. The other way is going to be worse. I don't even see anybody out there. I mean, God damn, they're so damn quiet. I'm thinking, what, is the world going to end? Has the world end? Is that guy with a wig going to press some buttons? I don't know, but there's not nobody body out there at all. And that is really, really creepy. Kind of like a horror type of thing. Not a damn but single soul getting on this damn vehicle. I can't say I blame them. They got some common sense and I want to get on this thing. They don't know what they'll get off when they get on this thing. You never know. Hey, I tell you, it's going to be a funny old day. I'm dreading to think where it's going to leave me. I really am. I don't know. Hey, I tell you, you know, the funny thing is, in spite of God no heating, it's getting on okay within this reason. I mean, it's all right going up them hills. It ain't going like slow. I could do with it, but I ain't doing that this time. Nope, sir. Definitely ain't no way, no way. Definitely no how, no how. No way doing that. At least I'm getting on the move at least. Slow, but I'm certainly moving. Yeah, there's the other thing I got to say. I got to declare this. You know... It's like a, you know, like a cemetery thing. There's not a blessed thing out here. I mean, it's quiet as hell, cold as hell, and not a blessed soul is even making any move. I mean, for this vehicle, for this vehicle on this time of the night, well, morning as it is this time, I don't even have a full bug. I don't have a full vehicle. All I have is nothing but empty, quiet, long, long winded. I'm dreading it. I reckon what it is, is what I reckon. I reckon, as I said it many times, this got to be the calm for a storm. And I reckon it's going to be a mighty horrible storm when I get down bottom there. I reckon it's going to be a long one. Hopefully not too long. I don't want to be falling asleep behind that wheel again. That won't go down too good. No how. No how. I, I suppose I got to get on my merry way. And leave this lot behind, in my behind until another day. Never know. I don't know. But it's going to be interesting to see how I go. I'm dreading it, let's put it this way. I won't declare that I'm not making a mess of my underwear, but I know I'm not looking forward to this damn trip. It's going to be a killer. I dare, I dare say it ain't going to be pleasant. Haven't spied the old wrecks out there? No harm. None. Still ended up scratching. 
Not much fan happening out there. Not even a home run. Yep, man, it's so weird. Nothing happening. As I must correct myself, yeah, there was a bit happening, a bit of action. I had one guy, he wanted to know where I want to go for destination. And well, I guess I told him as you do. And the guy that Paul Fetter stays on. Then he gets off for another destination, gets on the wrong means of transport, and he still probably ain't going to get it. He's probably still on the old bus in there. He's probably still on that vehicle trying to think where the hell it's going. He didn't even know. I didn't even know. I told him, but he didn't listen. And there's a lot of police activity out there as well. That was about all I had. There weren't even no rush, no mad, mad beats. I didn't even get no breeze out there. There weren't no breeze, so no damn storm. Just a very long, quiet night as such. As like, if you may. I don't know, it just wasn't one of those things. But anyways, I'm just getting... Tired now. I'm leaving this all on my behind. And another guy, nice guy, he has to listen to my advice I gave him. So my, so mighty kind of him, and he even thanked me to. So damn, make the change. That's about all what happened to such tonight. Oh well, I'm tired now. Won't hit that hay. Damn right. <laughs>